All right, guys, you can see I have a double broiler set up here. Simmering water and a bowl over the top that does not touch the water. No biggie, easy peasy. This recipe is so easy that I've left it to the last minute because you probably already have these things on hand. And this is just a candy that we love at our house. We call it Peter Cottontail candy. Um, and so let me show you how we do it. We have three cups of white chocolate chips. We're going to get those melting a bit here before we add in our other items. Look what my sister got me. If you follow me on social media, you probably saw that I am notorious for burning my fingers. So we're going to keep this going and let this melt. Don't be in a rush. Don't burn it. Just let her melt. I actually let my water come to a bit of a simmer before I even start. You can do that. You cannot. You do you, boo. This is just so easy. And it's something I've made every year. And I was like, yeah, I'll show it even though it's easy. We should still, we should still know everybody's little fun recipes. Easter is by far my favorite Christian holiday. It is such a time of renewal and, and renewal of hope and faith and all of that for me. And so I like to really do things up a lot for Easter. I like to celebrate Easter to the fullest, including with our food. So, you know what? These are sort of in the way. There we go. We're melting, baby. Slow but sure, slow but sure. And you know, I suppose you could really change these add-ins however you want. You know, different amounts. If there's different amounts that suit you better, something you don't like, take it out. Um, we are going to add coconut. We are going to add salted peanuts and M&Ms. Now, of course, you can, you have to get this color M&Ms. It's Easter, people. I didn't make the rules. I just follow them. I do salted peanuts. You can do regular peanuts. You can do any nut that you want. And then I go a little lighter on the coconut. I put in about a half a cup. You could put in up to a cup. And honestly, these originally, you're supposed to sprinkle the coconut on the outside because then they look like Peter Cottontail's tail. So you can do that too. I just stir mine in. I just, I do. But you know, I might save a little back to sprinkle on top because this will be the first time my grandkids have had it that they'll remember. Yeah. So I am going to stir in one and a half cups. I know that's what's left in this bag of salted Spanish peanuts. You get a little bit of salty with all that sweet. It's a beautiful thing. And then I'm going to add in my half cup of coconut. And then the very last thing, I'm going to shut my burner off. The very last thing I'm going to add is my M&Ms. Because I don't want them to totally lose all their color, even though they probably will. I've turned the burner off just so that this will stay warm while I get these put on my baking tray. Okay, cottontail does imply the shape of round. Am I correct? I also have some sprinkles here in case I want to do some sprinkles on top. And I also have my extra coconut. I'm guessing this is about a tablespoon scoop. And let's get these babies scooped up. 
Remember, we want to keep them round. And then let's sprinkle a little tiny bit of coconut to make them cottontails. And let's put maybe a few little sprinkles on top that aren't going to stick. You guys clearly do not need to be this meticulous. I have a severe case of OCD. There's another one. this and another small pan. I got 27 out of my mixture. You may get more, you may get less. It depends on the size. I don't feel like they need to be much bigger than this. They're pretty rich. So let me put them on a pretty plate so you can see exactly how they look and how adorable they're going to look on your Easter dessert. Here today. you have them. Our adorable Peter Cottontail candy. Happy Easter, everybody. Don't forget to subscribe, give me a thumbs up, and share this video. I'll talk to you soon. Be blessed, my friends. Bye-bye.